too cold to fly today, so I figured I'd go in and show you how to calibrate your sensors on your Mavic Air 2. Please subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, Montana Drone here. And today I want to show you how to calibrate the sensors on your Mavic Air 2. So, first thing you have to do is download the DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic. You have to make sure you download DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic. You can also update the firmware for your Mavic Mini as well on this application. Next thing you're going to need is at least a six foot cord. I tried this without a six foot cord and it did not work very good um, because you're going to have to hold the drone back to calibrate it against the screen. And you want to make sure you take off your gimbal cover. Go ahead and fold out your wings. I don't know if this is a necessary step, but I like to do it so that there's no pressure on the motors when they fire up. All right. And you're gonna wanna turn on your controller like any time you turn on your Mavic Air 2. Okay, so before you connect to DJI Assistant, Make sure you turn on your Mavic Air 2. First the controller, then the Mavic Air 2. Because if you don't, it's just gonna make you restart the drone and unhook from the computer and rehook it up again. All right, if you notice there's a little side port here. close to the camera. Little side port for your cable. Go ahead and hook that up. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and hook this up. Your computer will want to connect to your SD card, but don't worry about it, you don't need to do that. They actually recommend you remove your SD card, so that might be a good idea. So you just click on Mavic Air 2 here. And we're going to go down to calibration. So it gives you a little tutorial. It says hold the aircraft facing the screen. It basically explains how to hold your drone and what you'll be doing during the calibration process. When calibrating, make sure the USB cable does not block the rear vision sensor. This is why it's so important to get a six foot USB cable. Let's go ahead and start calibration. The calibration screen will show you how to hold the drone during the process. Over in the left hand corner you'll see a live shot of what your sensor camera sees. So you want to face the drone directly at the screen and line it up. There we go. And then you just follow the pattern. Everywhere those blue boxes go, you want to follow it with your drone and the blue box that's displayed on the screen. Okay, now it says move away from the screen. There we're locked on again. And once again, just follow the pattern. Okay, the front camera is done. Time to do the downward sensors. So you just lay it on its side, camera facing to the left, and line up your box. This is the most difficult part, probably. There we go. Just follow the pattern, just like before. I'll have you do it twice. Now it wants you to move the aircraft away and 
follow the pattern again. I actually didn't even know this existed. I started messing around with it one day and found this section. I'm like, that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and calibrate my sensors. Okay, so now you want the rear cameras facing. Make sure your props are out of the way. Okay, just line it up again. There we're locked on. Follow the boxes. Right down the line. Ooh. Doesn't matter if you get crazy as long as you go back to where you're headed. This isn't perfection, otherwise I don't think you could do it this way. Okay, lock it on, move it away from the screen, and just go ahead and follow the pattern again. Calculating. Calibration complete. That's how you do it, folks. Pretty easy. At this point, you can turn off your controller and your drone. Always turn off your drone first. and then your controller. Now your sensors are completely calibrated and you're ready to fly. So, thanks everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you. Have a good one.